Every deck has its own legacy and position of power. Where does your deck fall among the rubble? Every two weeks, a tournament is played out, but for every archetype that makes it to the final stage, they are banished for the rest of the series. Who will be the last card standing? Welcome back to another Last Card Standing episode, and you might be concerned and wondering why we're talking to you at the start of the video here. Well, I figured I would put the top cut screen up at the beginning just to mix things up a little, since I don't think it really spoils anything, but here you go, the breakdown is as crazy as you can imagine. Check the description down below for the timestamps of your favorite duels, and I hope you enjoy this video. I wanted to leave a quick little short message before jumping into this, because the Last Card Standing is starting to, um... It's starting to get to the end. It feels like, anyway, we say this every week, the metagame is really devolving into some bad strategies. I mean, listen, hey, if forks and knives are almost topping, you know what's up. I want you to leave a comment down below with some feedback and suggestions for mixing up the rules for season two, because as you're watching this video, this is, I think, almost within a couple of weeks, the anniversary of the first ever episode of The Last Card Standing. This journey began almost a year ago. Thank you so much for taking part and joining. Enjoy the rest of this video. If you want to take part yourself completely for free, all you need is a master dual account and a legal deck list discord.gg forward slash farfa just to support the channel it would be really cool if you could check out the patreon as well i don't really offer anything crazy unfortunately but if you do really enjoy my content it would mean a lot to be able to help out with things like the editing and the production that comes with all of these high effort videos enjoy the rest of the duels all right here we go we are playing lavals god i haven't seen this deck in like 12 years, man. That's insane. What is your opponent playing? Marsh Macaron Obelisk. Wow, okay, so it's French god cards. Uh, Molten Conduction Field, baby. Send two Laval monsters from deck to the graveyard. Bro, imagine, like, your deck just had a themed Foolish Burial for two. A themed Foolish Burial for two. Legitimately, Molten Conduction Field is absolutely broken. Laval's just need one good modern support card that does something in the grave, and I swear to God, this thing's gonna be scared. What the hell are you doing? Lancelord and Burner. Three Lavals with different mo names in your grave. Special summon here. Clearing the field here. Marsh Macron specials. Two Marsh Macrons from deck. <laughs> Honestly, Marshmallow would be better here. We're going to go Searing Firewall. Banish two Lavals to summon two tokens here. Okay. Laval Archer effect destroys this guy. Brings itself back out of the grave. Lancelord effect. Adds back Laval Kotal from the Banish Pile here, links into Doolittle Chimera. <laughs> Fuck off, dude! We're just going fire beatdown. <laughs> Year of the Fire, they said in TCG. Wow. Can't wait for Bonfire to come to uh, Mastodil. Then this deck is gonna pop off, my friend. Alright, we're gonna go Monster Reborn on the opponent's Lancelord. Link oh, Tribute Summoning Obelisk! <laughs> Mage Power! <laughs> wait, what? You activated Mage Power and you didn't realize Obelisk is untargetable. <laughs> he had to Mage Power the opponent's card because it was an illegal activation. That's so funny. All right, how are we on Obelisk? Oh! <laughs> My God, now. <laughs> You can't just steal Obelisk. <laughs> oh my god, dude. The psychological human necessity to put your strongest monster in the middle of the board, huh? You know what I'm saying? It literally is just in the psyche of mankind that that's just where you put your best boss monster. Got the crush fist for game! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Laval's quote-unquote winning that duel. Fantastic. All right, amazing. Very cool. All right, what do we got here? Oh, no, dude. We took away like four of his burn cards and he's still playing burn. What have you managed to come up with? Okay, the oh, right, because your opponent activate Pry Rice map there. I see. Uh, Foolish of her angler to get double sunfish. One for one discard Betunaful Princess to summon Tuna. Does this not trigger? Uh, okay. Didn't use the effect. Why did we even pry rice map? Can't do anything with this guy, really? We don't have a level 5 synchro? <laughs> Lava Golem. Very nice. Set three cards. Pass turn. Alright. Sweet. Uh, Lava Golem in the standby phase. Take a thousand. We're down to 3,000 life points. And uh, now we're gonna normal summon. Climb up. It's a clear wing synchro dragon. Boosted attack points as well as the Retolfin. In the grave effect, it's gonna boost your uh, crystal wing even further. Battle phase, blazing mirror force. <laughs> Technically, you didn't activate two cards. You activated one card and you won the game. It was lava golem and then a blazing mirror. That's it. You didn't do anything.
All right, here we go. We've got Oyamas versus Demise. Activate Drag Down to the Grave here. Rips out the uh, Ritual spell from the hand here into a Ojama Yellow T set with Ojama Duo. Is that really like? Did that really feel like worth playing Drag Down in your deck? Like, ah, yes, I'm going to brick my opponent and then set a yellow as my follow-up. Jesus, we are turboing through this deck here. Trade in, uh, Demise, Ritual Summoned out here, End of the World. Activate the End of the World, destroy everything on the field by paying 2,000. Change the Odama, Ojama Duo here. Ojama two, Duo gives your opponent two Oyama tokens. I think they take some burn damage here. Uh, yep, 600. And Normal Summon, Tour Guide from the Underworld for the Banishment Monsters here. For uh, Yup Muck. Target the Dark Necrofear, discarding Rhino Warrior. That is absolutely insane. Summon this back here. And dumping the Diablo, the Draconic Mommy. Triggering these in the grave that recycle themselves back to the hand here. Alrighty. That's uh, some good card advantage. And clearing the field with the Demise. Battle phase, we're going to take some damage here. But wait, oh, Yama Duo on Declaration. Special summon blue and pink here. Uh, main phase 2 activates the effect of Demise, destroys everything except the Muckraker and the Dark Necrofear. The blue only triggers when destroyed by battle. So dis uh, stopping your opponent from getting all of that Ojama card advantage. I can't believe that's a sentence I just said, but it actually is. Alright, here's Ojama Country. Special summoning blue and red out the deck with the second duo. Double blue here. Crashing with the blue. Blue effect going to activate to search for Ojama Magic and another Ojama Country. Crashing the other blue. Taking 12 here in the damage set. We're going to add another Ojama Red and we're going to add Oyama Magic. Let's do some magic here, baby. We're going to activate the second copy of the Oyama Country. Not once per turn. Discard Ojama Yam Magic here to target the pink. Chain the Spirit of Malice in the grave here. Spirit of Malice is going to bring back the Diabro the Draconic. Uh, here's Ojama Pink. Magic is going to add green, black, and blue. Bla uh, green, black, black. That's one. My black goat is here. Gachi Gachi Gantetsu. Best monster in the game. Let's go. Normal summon Ojama Red. Green, black, and yellow for a second. Gachi Gachi. Gachi Gachi. Three Gachi Gachi. <laughs> Drag down to the grave. Tour guide for the Ojama Magic. Woo! Drop next to the magical hats here. Ojama magic. Gonna add three Oyamas from the deck to the hand here. As well as triggering the Dragonic. So I'm gonna get to the field. I don't know if that's gonna matter. Set one magical hat and pass turn. You gonna play a little bit of the game here? Wanna do some roulette with me, my friend? Normal summon Zalamander up into Muckraker. Royal Rare. Activate the Dark Spirit of Malice. Recycling back to the hand here. Activate the... Uh, uh, Muckraker, bring back Demise. Demise effect, pay 2,000, destroy all cards on the field. But the Gachi Gachis are all protected by detaching one material. <laughs> but now it's big enough to attack over because they gain attack and defense points equal to detaching to protect, slowly whittling down these Gachi Gachis. Only one material left between all three of them. We are almost there to clearing the Gachi Gachis. We top decked! Dry white for turn, summoning black, green, and yellow. Oh my god, if ever there was a time and you get to play four cards in your extra deck, it would be really hilarious if we could have four gachi gachis here. Ronin Raccoon Sandayu activates the effect here, summons out a token for 2000 over the Muckraker for game. Ah! <laughs> That is the most insane fucking game I've ever seen in the fucking LCS. Holy shit! <laughs> All right, what do we got? We've got, um, what are these cards? We're playing Wind versus Burn. Okay, Wind versus Burn. Uh, we got a special summon Dynatherium. Activate Skull Invitation. Each time a card is sent to the grave, inflict 300 to its owner. All right, and uh, now it's time for Summoning Storm. Pay eight to special level six or lower Wind from your hand here. That's going to bring out Kuji, Ku Kuja Kuja, Ku Ku Kuja Kujaku, Kuja Kujaku. Uh, tribute to special out the Metal Avion. Activates the Kuju 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 for Yadagarasu! <laughs> okay, Lightning Chidori sends the Dimension Wall and then uh, puts the Skull Invitation to the top of the deck here. Taking a little bit of damage. Yadagarasu has to battle Fader Yadagarasu! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Alright, bounces itself back to the hand here. How are we going to deal with this? Top sex at Skull Invitation. Sets one. Activates the Messenger of Peace here. Are we going to get this Yada Lock online? 
Draw for turn. Here's a hop your squadron. Chidori gets to activate to bounce away the Messenger of Peace. Flips over. The Skull Invitation. Taking damage might not be relevant here. Let's see if we can get this online. All right. Normal summon Yadagarasu. Summon Storm. Banish from the graveyard. Gets to extra normal summon Metal Avion. And now attacks Yadagarasu. Connects. And there it is. No more draw phases. Pass turn. Yadagarasu in the end phase. Bounces to the hand. Opponent's draw phase. Get skipped due to card effect. And that is the end of the game, baby. You've been Yada locked. <laughs> Yada lock, my friend. All right, what do we got here? Oh, it looks like we're playing Spirits against TG? I th no, not even TG. Uh, TG's banned anyway. It's just like... B 5Ds? Yeah, we're just Yusei. Yeah, that's it. That's your deck. You, you just... <laughs> that, that's a Yusei deck, you know? My heart beats in overdrive. All right, let's see. Uh, activate Sakitama. Normal summon. We've got the Pharaonic Advent to tribute summon over it. Sakitama targets a Spirit in the Grave itself, recycling it to the hand here. Uh, extra normal summon for the Lilith. Well, technically, it's your original normal summon. Punching over the set Turbo Rocket. Tributes the Pharaonic Advent to get, uh, three copies of Furin Kazan from the deck here. And then activates Clear World. So, I guess we're trying to just get out multiple attributes to pop off with the uh, broken effect of Furin Kazan. Let's see if we can play this out here. Synchro Overtake, Discard, Revive. Uh, RGB Rainbow Lucian. This is an ultra rare, by the way. Target a face on monster field. Its type is changed to machine. Also, it gains the light, dark, earth, water, fire, wind attributes. And now that means we have made Furin Kazan live. See the reference on the text? RGB, yeah, it's like a freaking gamer keyboard, my friend. Activate Coral Dragon to destroy the Lilith. Chain the Lilith to tribute. Uh, we're gonna get more trap cards from the deck here. We're gonna get Trap Trick and Double Furin Kazan. And that's gonna hit Trap Trick, unfortunately. Uh, can just get the original there. Battle Phase, Stardust Dwagon, Bat Chest, and Coral Dragon attack. We're gonna take some damage here. That's okay, because in the end phase, Clear World is not gonna do anything, actually. Never mind. All right, draw for turn here. Sakitama, Normal Summon, Extra Normal Summon, Overlay into Diamond Crab King. <laughs> Detach with the Diamond Crab King, swap the attack and defense, Battle Phase, punch the Stardust Dragon, Bat Chest. Uh, end the battle phase, puts itself to defense mode. RGB Illumination gives all of the attributes of the Coral Dragon. Draws two with the Furin Kazan. Sets trap tricks, banishing Furin Kazan, setting another Furin Kazan, and passing turn here. Clear World, pay to get 500. And now I guess we have all attributes on the field here. And in the standby, we get to destroy our opponent's monster because of the Clear World. Coral Dragon, discard, destroy, attack for game with Coral Dragon, chain Metaverse, Metaverse effect for chicken game, chicken game, our life points are too low, so we don't die from the Coral Dragon. It's main phase two, we're gonna activate the chicken game, draw one card, and it's an obsessive Uva loop. Chicken game, uh, pay a thousand draw, Furin Kazan, draw two because of the RGB illumination into Tour Guide, Tour Guide for Tour Guide, into Cicada King, most broken card in the LCS this week, apparently, set a scapegoat and pass here. All right, chicken game, pat pay, draw for t uh, a card here for the Necroid Synchro. Synchro summoning, it's like a miracle fusion, but for Synchros. Gets out a Stardust Warrior, summoning the obsessive Uwa Loop here, punching over with the uh, Stardust Warrior attack directly. Coral Dragon, foregore the chicken game again. <laughs> you foregore. End phase, we're going to go scapegoat. Putting all of these four tokens onto the field here. Can we make any crazy link plays? I don't know. Uh, let's go RGB Illumination to make this all of the attributes in the game here. And now we're going to activate Ready Fusion. Ready Fusion effect. Special summon out Soul Hunter. Five-Headed Dragon, which has all of the attributes, I think. Um, and then activate Five-Headed Dragon. Destroy all cards on the field that your opponent controls. Battle phase, five-head for exactly lethal. Oh my god, let's go. Holy shit. <laughs> what? what are, who came up with this win condition? Okay, it's the Yada deck, right? Versus. Oh my god, there it is. Melisevorous Fork. Activate to special summon fork. Fork, summon knife. Knife, summon fork into darkness. <laughs> Full combo. <laughs> Add burying quick force from the deck and pass turn. <laughs> we eating good today, boy. <laughs> we eating fucking good today. Forks and knives. <laughs> Can't even out the darkness. That's so funny.
Uh, Umbral Horrors? Wait, this thing's have synergy? Oh my god, Icarus Attack Tribute. Target the Dark Mist here. Chain to rank up over the Dark Mist being destroyed. Chain hop your squadron on Dynatherium. Okay. All right. Special summon itself here. Synchro up into Desert Locusts. All right. That gets ranked up into Dark Storm. Jesus. All right. Uh, pops this. And Locust Revive. Uh, it doesn't revive. It discards the turn player's card. But card player doesn't have card in hand. So we're going to get a search here for the Kujikaj Cuckoo for a uh, Metal Avion. And past turn draw, that's going to be a Summon Storm. Summon Storm, Special Summon Tengu. <laughs> Dimension Slice! Banish the Dark Storm! Oh my god, that's cringe. Tribute the Tengu to Special Summon Metal Avion. That triggers Tengu to summon itself. Synchro up into White Aura Behemoth. Triggering the Tengu, baby! We're playing fucking Tengu Plant, let's go! Or Tengu Birds, really, I guess, is uh, what this deck is. Uh, special Summon a Token for free. 33 and 3,000 defense here. Lightning Chidori. Gonna put the uh, scissors onto the top of the field here. Why did we summon this in, in attack mode? I guess it must summon in defense, right? Yeah, it summons in defense. Okay, it is what it is. And uh, past turn here, we know that the opponent is top decking a crappy little scissors. So there isn't much we can do here. Just set pass. And uh, I think we turn these to attack mode and we should win the little game of Yu-Gi-Oh here. Rank up into the B. Wow, you're gonna pierce your opponent? That is so disgusting. That is just bad manners, my friend. And the uh, Behemoth has taken down the Fork, Knife, and Spoon deck. You know what? It's because you didn't have the right type of cutlery. You know, you didn't have the teaspoon, you didn't have the napkin, but uh, that was very funny. Wait, what the hell is this? Wait, there's a monster called Lamia? Like, just straight up, just like, just, just like, just straight up, just Lamia? <laughs> okay, today I learned. Uh, Lamia's gonna attack over War Dragonfly, which summons a copy of itself. We're gonna go MST, hit a random back row. And then main phase two, we're gonna go recumination device. We're gonna kumo all over this what dragonfly and send a telepath. Uh, code A ancient ruins. Activate, removing the the alien counters to bring back telepath. Removing alien counters to pop a card here. This is kind of broken actually. Uh, King of the feral imps is gonna detach to add a uh, reptile. That's gonna be gentle mander. <laughs> it's a salamander who's a gentleman. <laughs> a gentlemander. Oh my god, it's so dumb. <laughs> okay, anyway, what does it do? It declares that attack, you just special summon it, that's it? Oh my god, wow, that's crazy. Oh no, there's no way. This is the combo, I think, right? Oh wow, a detaching to add Black Mamba. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, Coom device adds Ammonite. Ammonite brings back Telepath. Telepath, uh... Gets to pop this trap trick by removing Coom counters. Change the trap trick here. We're going to set from the deck here. That's a quaking mirror force, really. Just telling your opponent not to attack. That's fair. All right. That's respectable. Here's the Black Mamba. Targets the Dragonfly and dumps something to the graveyards here. We're going to link into alien uh, shock troopers. Discards the King of the Feral Imps. Uh, King of the Venom Imps or something. Yeah, that thing. Puts a bunch of alien counters on these idiots. Uh, goes for a, another King of the Feral Imps, detaching to add a Light Serpent from deck to the hand here. And now we're gonna link it to Cosmic Slicer Zerol, who puts the, uh, guys into defense mode and then adds a, uh, Kumination. Ancient Ruins here, removes some Kum counters to target the Shop Trooper, Shock Troopers, and sets three cards and passes turn here. Main phase Juan, Zerol, puts into defense mode. <laughs> <laughs> yep, those things go to the fence. We're gonna go some, 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 and pass on a hot, what hopper. Uh, Shock Trooper here discards to put some uh, alien counters somewhere, and I think we bring back the Light Serpent, dumping with the Coom device, the Stealth Buster, puts more Coom counters on the Zerol here, draw for turn. That's an offering of the Snake Deity. Some summoner, some summoner, brings back the hopper. We got the Watt Lock. It's the Watt Lock, baby. Okay, uh, Dupe Frog at home. Uh, let's see if we can out this. We're going to go King of the Pharaoh Imp, detaching to add another Black Mamba. Uh, Monster Reborn targets the King of the Venom Snake Nagas or something like that. Venomenon, the poison King of the Poisonous Snakes. Uh, Yamimori, banish to destroy this. Put this to zero. Chain, Rise of the Snake, Deity to revive, to summon from the deck. Venomenon! It's 6,000 attack points. Let's go! All right, draw four with the Skull Dread. Normal summon Aratama, Aratama for Shaki Taba. 
And now we've got the Code 8 Ancient Ruins. Removing the counters. Bring back Stealth Buster. There's no way. Are we actually pulling off the combo? Are we actually pulling off the combo? Snake Rain dumps five here. Battle Phase attacks into this. Gets hit with a Quaking Mirror Force. It's unaffected. And 8,000 exactly. Woo! We didn't even have to use the win condition. We just punched our opponent for 8,000. Let's go. Venomi Naga wins a game of Yu-Gi-Oh! In the LCS. That's so funny. I mean, that's it. That's the end of the duel, right? You're just gonna constantly keep bricking them on this what uh, on this wicked eraser, and you've just got them locked with the uh, with Chimera. It gets better. There's more. <laughs> you're playing this card. Wait, you're not even activating it. Wait, why is he not activate it? Come on, it's funny. Add what kinetic puppet? <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. We're gonna shift the zone of the Wicked Dreadroot to steal it with anime. Oh, I needed that. To oh my god, wow. <laughs> Man, that card's crazy. <laughs> you draw into appli oh, it's appliancers versus the hands. Alright, here we go. Breaker Bunkle. Uh, where art thou for a saw control? We're gonna special summon out the Saw Control here. The Copy Bockle are on the field as well here. Saw Control for Saw Control. That's gonna be Link 2 for Celtipus. And now we're gonna link up into Laundry Dragon. And also another lo uh, Link summon of Propylion. End phase. Pass turn here. Two cards, not sending them. Interesting. All right. Uh, normal summon Fire Hand. Attack into this. The Fire Hand gets destroyed by the Propylion. This tries to destroy the Laundry Dragon, cannot because of the protection effect of Appliance or Breaker Bunkle, it looks like. <laughs> and uh, past turn here, we're gonna go Cosmic Cyclone Blind on the Raigeki Break here. Discards the Pot of Avarice to destroy the Laundry Dragon. Boy, disgusting minus one there, honestly. Alright, do we have any follow-up? Uh, we are gonna go into Appliance or Kappa skin. <laughs> can I get a Kappa, please? Please, can we spam Kappa? Revives the Saw Control. The copy balkle on the field targets the sock control. That's gonna be wind blasted away here. All right, put this back to the top of the deck, and uh, we are down to like nothing. Oh no, can we keep going? Okay, we're gonna go into a vacuum elephant. Vacuum elephant, discard to target a card. Your opponent controls destroy it. Battle phase, punch, and they are on zero. Nada. Top deck. That's the best card in the deck, isn't it? <laughs> Discard Thunder Seahorse to add Thunder Hand and Thunder Hand. Okay, that just is a plus like one there. Kinda crazy. Uh, punch over the Vacuum Elephant and pass turn uh, into a Saw Control here. Normal Summon Saw Control. Activate Machine Duplication. Do you have like target? Oh, you have one target. Okay. Oh, Machine Dupe is up to. Today I learned, by the way. Uh, Proper Line Effect is going to attack over the Thunder Hand. Does he have a Grave Effect? Oh, it triggers the Thunder Hand in the hand. Popping the Proper Lion. Okay, uh, link away up into Dryer Drake, and pass turn on a Dryer Drake. Okay, well, uh, let's see what we can do here. A top deck uh, overlay network, activating the effect here to target this to revive the fight. That's insane! How are you? You are a top deck king! Black Ship of Corrin gonna send the Dryer Drake. I assume it's like unaffected or indestructible or something like that. Then I'm gonna go Vespinato into the B and attack for 25 piercing, and we are down to zero cards here. Can we out top deck our opponent? Are we also good at top decking? We're not. We're not. Oh, it's Dragon Link versus Digital Bugs. Okay. Cocoon Dancer. Plus a guy makes a Keta King. Set pass. <laughs> Classic Digital Bugs. Classic. All right, opponent's going to draw for turn here on that Dragon Link deck. We got Mind Control to steal uh, Sniffa Dragon. Adds another copy of itself here. Special summon the Destrudo. Trigger in the Noctovision. Vision. And now we've also got Spiral Dragon. Look at this absolute pendulum summon here, linking into Saryuja. Saryuja gonna draw four cards here. Oh, draw five cards, actually, I guess. Look at this. Look at this. All right, draw one, draw four, and put back here. Hey, Trunade. Hey, 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 Trunade, hey. Uh, Bug Emergency is chained to the Hey, Trunade here. That's gonna revive two from the uh, grave, and I think immediately XE summon. Was it just summon? It just summons, okay. Uh, again, some attack on these things here to wall up. Allure of Darkness, gonna banish one of these uh, Hibernation Dragons. Uh, so you're gonna special summon out the uh, Hibernation here, who targets Sniffer. Sniffer Dragon recycled to the hand. Spiral Dragon makes it rank 8 to go into a Felgrand. A uh, boosted Felgrand as well. Battle Phase gonna attack with the Saryuja. Clears the field here with the Felgrand as well. And uh, play goes back on over to the Bugman. 
All right, buggy boys. Can you deal with just a little uh, fell grind here? Let's go. We're going to go normal summon LED bug. Registrider triggers in the hand, changes the level. Uh, this thing goes to defense and adds a cocoon dancer. Overlays both of them to go up into boss. Generic. Uh, it's not generic, but it's a rank 7 uh, boss here. Tries to attack over the fell grand. Detaches to make itself unaffected. Uh, detaches to chain the boss to pop the uh, fell grand, I think, here. Uh, I don't know why you did that, uh, to be honest with you. Do we not get a redeclare? Can we not redeclare on Saryuja? Must have missed something there. That's whatever, I guess. We get a special summon the Sniffer Dragon with the Saryuja here. Um, and then bring out the Defrag by discarding the Spiral. Spiral going to change levels, also gaining. Boss! Going to activate to detach and pop something. What are you popping? Popping the Spiral Dragon here. And uh, Noble Summon Hibernation Dragon. Hibernation for Hibernation. Ooh, we just have Dragon Infinite Recursion Advantage. That's nice. Pesty! Uh, guard Dragon's still legal, technically, I guess. Bring back the Spiral Dragon. Activate the effect of the uh, level change. We got three level eights on the field. Here we're going to go and uh, activate Bug Emergency. I guess we're just preemptively doing this in case something is summoned that negates us. Triple Burst Dragon plus the Lancelot. Mandatory negate here. Lancelot punches for tw uh, 20 directly. Inflicts battle damage. Gets to pop the Rhino. Um, and then uh, we pierce over the uh, bug with the triple burst dragon. Drop a turn. You've got an oily cicada. Cocoon Dancer brings back the, uh, what's it called? That's going to be mandatory negate here. Uh, is what it is. I don't think we can bait it out in any other way. So we're just going to have to settle for like, what, a Skiradiator? Okay, we're going to use the banish of the trap in the grave. That gives us extra levels for boss. Uh, battle phase. We're going to punch over the triple burst. And boss effect going to destroy the Lancelot now. And back to square one. All right. This is a good back and forth between bugs and dragons. Who would win? Computer uh, ants or uh, the dragons? Dragon Link. Literally Dragon Link. Sends Dark Worm with the Dragon Shrine. Hibernation Dragon in the graveyard. Banishing itself to recycle the triple burst. Oh, it's a special summon the triple burst. Could we have used like the Dark Worm first? Uh, okay. I guess not. Uh, Spiral Dragon brings itself out of the graveyard here. Now, boss effect. Gonna pop the Spiral Dragon on summon. Do we have a link play with this? We do indeed. Amblo Whale. Uh, Amblo Whale battle phase. Just punch over boss. And that's it. Past turn here. Okay. All right. Another swing. Can we uh, play out of it? No, we can't. T set. It's looking like uh, might be the end here. All right. Normal summon Sniffer Dragon. Sniffer Dragon. Get a copy of itself. Oh, you could just play multiple pisties, I suppose. That's, that's fair. <laughs> brings back Triple Burst Dragon. Brings back Spiral Dragon. All right. And Normal Summon, or rather Discard Special Summon Defrag Dragon. Go into a rank 8 here for Drag Lubion. Battle Phase Attack over the Oily Cicada for piercing damage. And Amblo Whale for game. And Dragon Link finally uh, back again once more. Moving on to top 8. Okay. San is against Metaphys. Who has opened Dimension Fissure. And has won the dice roll. Uh, this might be a problem. We'll see, though. Aloof Lupine banishing the decoy, plus the Dallas. Drop a turn here. Standby phase. Your turn. Our turn. The Dallas recycles, or rather banishing the Ascension. Ascension gets a copy of Ragnarok for next turn here. And the decoy dragon revives itself. And so, we're going to use the MST and pop that last card here. Set, 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 pass. Ooh, I feel like popping that DiFi would have been better, honestly. Uh, that didn't feel right. Something about this doesn't seem good. Ragnarok hits a uh, Ascension for Dimension. And now we're going to go into Metaphys Horus. Horus effect here. Gets to steal because it was synchroed with a Pendulum Monster. And now we get to... Uh, we're going to Compulse it away. As we take a direct attack from the Aloof Lupine in the end phase. We're going to go for Trap Trick. Banishing uh, Dust Tornado. And Dust Tornado, I guess, is how we're going to definitely get rid of this uh, Die Fi, I suppose. Uh, Decoy Dragon effect. Brings itself back into standby here. To set, set, pass. All right, main phase of Juan, flip summon this guy, Dust Tornado, pop the uh, Die Fi. End phase, they're going to go Dark Factory of Mass Production, draw one by sending Scissors, draws into Lois from Family Guy. Uh, ideally, Lilith would have been better, I think, instead at this point, but it's a kind of decent play here. We get to discard the Rhino Warrior and draw a card, then send the baby. The baby gets to revive itself from the graveyard after we top deck a trap trick here. Uh, Metaphist Dimension on Resolution, bring back the Ragnarok, Ragnarok effect, banish three cards here, hitting... Uh, Tyrant Dragon and Decoy Dragon. That's absolutely insane. And then gets rid of the baby with the Ascension here. Lois, uh, recycling some trap cards, draws into a backjack here. Doesn't have a way to go for Muckraker or anything. Passes turn on two back row. 
Metaphist is looking like it's really far ahead at this point. Uh, but we do get to draw and set up the grave with the backjack on the dark factory of mass production. Immediately using the effect here to go for trap tricks. Do we have a needle ceiling maybe? Not yet. It looks like we're going to go for uh, another Metaphist Horus to steal. Um, is it steal and pop, right? I think it like uses both effects here. And activate the effect here. We're going to yoink Lois. And uh, targeted this to negate it, actually. It doesn't pop it. Activate the effect of the lowest. They get to recycle and drop with their own card. Battle phase. Fiend griefing. Uh, put back their Ragnarok. Send the baby. The baby. Special summoned face down chain trap trick here. Uh, we get, need some sort of mass removal. There it is. Needle ceiling. Banish with the trap trick here. The baby brings itself back to face down defense position. And redirects. Needle ceiling. Blows up the entire field here. And Aloof Lupine gets to trigger alongside the Soul Scissors. Aloof Lupine targeting the Tyrant Dragon. Soul Scissors brings itself back here. Aloof Lupine uh, adds back the Tyrant Dragon. Um, and uses the Emetophis Ascension, banishing itself from the hand here. To draw or search a Ragnarok, I think. And then Dimension pops, uh, banishing the baby. Normal summons Ragnarok next. Banishing three hits a Ragnarok and Aloof Lupine here. Alright, draw for turn. So now the baby here, Decoy Dragon, brings itself back into standby phase. We're going to use another trap trick for Super Team Buddy Force. Okay. Super Team Buddy Force effect. Target the scissors to bring back Rhino Warrior. And Metaphys Dimension is not going to let you go into Muckraker. Bring back the Ragnarok. Banishing three cards here. Dimension banishing this. Chains uh, for cost on the Dark Factory. More production. We won't get the draw, but we do get to dodge the banish and trigger the Fiendish Rhino Warrior here. Who's going to dump... The uh, the general targeting Lois, recycling it back to the hand here. Normal summons Lois, and unfortunately, we cannot recycle our traps here with the Book of Moon. So we're just going to set and pass here. Back to the opponent here. A normal summon Ragnarok. That's three right there. Trap trick of their own for Ascension. And now they're going to use Dimension, targeting the set cards here with the Ascension Banished. Chaining that Book of Moon, targeting our own Soul Scissors. I think it still gets Banished. All right, gets an A, 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 some edifice from deck to the hand here. Normal summons Ragnarok. There's three of them. Banishes a Dedalus. Puts this into attack battle phase. Back Jack on declaration. Sets a Dust Tornado. That's not great. Uh, punches over Lois here. And punches over the Soul Scissors. It does go to the grave at least. Dark Factory mass production for cost. Discards the baby. Discarding the baby brings itself back in face down defense position here. Activates the Metaphist Dimension targeting. Chaining the Duster to popping the Dimension. Both of these players are playing out their fucking minds right now, by the way. Holy shit, I've never, such I've never seen such dog shit decks play to perfection in my life. Wow, this is insane. And unfortunately, the Metaphist Horus gets to steal because it was summoned with the Pendulum Decoy. Stealing like three cards this game. This is absolutely crazy. Uh, just has to set and pass here. End phase ascension. Uh, discarding, getting a search or draw into the, the Dallas. We got a necro phase here. Tyrant dragon recycles itself. Special summons the Dallas onto the field here. Flip summons links away up into a triple burst dragon. Battle phase start step. We get to go compulsory evacuation device. Bouncing that away. I think we could have bounced away the triple burst because right? it only works in the damage step. Normal summon necro phase. Uh, recycling the entire Banish deck of both players for 3,000 attack. And now San needs a bit of a heart of the cards moment here. Top deck's the baby. That's not awful, right? Do we not want to set this? Oh, I guess it won't work, actually, because of the Triple Burst Dragon. Oh, I think we see the misplay here. I think Compulsing this Triple Burst was probably the uh, the answer. Then we could have set the baby. Discard this for cost. Okay, wait, hang on. Hold, hold, hold. We're still here. We're still here. Discard for cost. Bring back the baby. Chump out the necro face. The baby. Send a fiend from deck to the grave. But that's the damage step. The triple burst gets to negate this. No. This is so rough. But we get to get soul scissors back, I suppose. Soul scissors effect pops the Ragnarok. And past turn, we get one more chance here to draw, I guess, tour guide. Oh, it's a dark factory. Okay, Set pass. Is it enough? I don't know. Die fires top deck. Battle phase attack over the soul scissors for piercing damage for a game. And San is just out of the tournament. Winning Swiss. Winning two LCSs back to back. Oh, this is so unfortunate. All right, we're going to got here Cyber Angels. Cyber Angelinos. I'm going to unexpectedly die into set three and pass turn. Okay, this looks very similar to last uh, last round here. Let's see if the Cyber Angels with Natasha control can beat this. I'm gonna go Machine Angel Ritual, tributing Ben 10 for id the 10. 
It's as good of a start as you can get. So uh, if Cyber Angels can't win this, it's going to be very bizarre. Sorry, my bad. That's my email. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, I need to read this. This is the CEO chat. This is... <laughs> Hello, I am the CEO of File Mail. We would like to buy um, personalized content. Unleash your creative power to integrate our secure file transfer marvels into your content. That's what that says. Th those are the words. Uh, yeah. Give me your credit card detail and we will sponsor your YouTube channel. All right. Uh, Machine Angel Ritual Tribute. We're just summoning out Natasha Tutabon. Targets the Machine Angel Ritual. Brings itself back to the uh, back to the hands here. We're going to activate Viper's Grudge and Chain Offering to the Snake Deity. But that doesn't work because the Machine Angel Ritual protects from destruction by banishing itself in the graveyard here. I'm going to go and link away into Cross Sheep. And now we've got Planet Pollutant Virus on the field here. Destroying the entire board. Okay, we're going to discard from the machine, uh, the Ritual Sanctuary here. Add Machine Angel Ritual. Uh, recycling the Grave to go into Cyber Angel Vrash. And uh, Battle Phase, we're still going to punch and attack for 3,000 here through that two disruptions. Alright, past turn here. Do we have a good top deck? Uh, might be okay. All right, we're going to go Unexpected Die for Shock Trooper. Telepath Effect. Normal Summon. Places some Coom Counters on this thing. Change the effect of Rash Recycling in the 10. And uh, that is going to do something. What are you going to do here? Oh, negates the Telepath and destroy. Wow, Cyber Angels have an Omni? That's crazy. Activates Viper's Grudge here. Continuous Trap puts the Vrash to defense. Summoning Black Mamba. Still extending up into a Cosmic Slicer. And Slice Boy adds a uh, Coom device from deck to the hand here. We're just going to set and pass turn, it looks like. Draw. Uh, we're going to go Battle Phase here. Try and force this out. Coom device in the damage step, I think, or attack. Um, gets to, uh, I think you, like, reduce the attack and stuff. No, we're just going to put it to defense. Okay, that's fair. Main Phase 2, we're going to go Ritual Sanctuary. Discarding to add Ben 10. And there isn't really much else we can do. We're just going to pass turn here. Okay. Uh, aliens versus um, Cyber Angel. We got a bit of a showdown here. That's an insane top deck. Holy crap, we got the ruins. Uh, but it doesn't even matter because we got Ammonite in the hand as well here. Normal summon from the search of the uh, Coom device, bringing back Telepath. Telepath gets to pop the Ritual Sanctuary and uh, the continuous spell reviving back Nutbuster Alien, uh, synchroing up into Golgar. And now Nutbuster places some Coom counters on this, chains the Viper's Grudge. Gets to revive a level 4 or lower Viper from the deck here. Not revive, sorry. Special summon out the Black Mamba, which activates effect target a card. Your opponent control. Send a Reptile. Slicer puts this into defense mode again. Uh, Knight's End Serpent recycles itself or brings itself back out the graveyard. King of the Pharaoh Imps is overlaid into. Searching for a copy of the Alien Overlord. Summoning itself for free from the hand here. All of this, remember, we started our turn with a Zero. And uh, an Ammonite search. And that's it, basically. Uh, all of these extenders just help push so much for 11,000 on board by the way gg aliens might be taking this entire goddamn thing down holy crap what a duel all right grand finals time it is uh, dragon link versus aliens aliens wins the dice roll they're gonna go unexpected dice summon shock trooper plus nutbuster makes a link too and uh, he is going to activate to put some Coom counters on this. Activates the spell card. The Ruin is going to remove counters. Brings him back. And now we get to go into Zerol. Mr. Krabs adds a card. That's going to be Coom device. Sets it and passes turn. All right. Draw over onto the Dragon Link play here. Main phase Juan. We're going to just snipe out that Coom device with the uh, Cosmic. Cosmic really relevant here because it prevents the search as well on the follow-up turn for Ammonite, which is huge. They still get to send Nutbuster. And here we've got Reasoning. And I don't know what you call against this deck. Honestly, it could be anything. That's a disgusting mind control, by the way. We just need to find 8,000 damage here. That should be doable. That's an easy link three there. But they call level eight on the Reasoning. Unfortunately for them, they hit Noctovision. And uh, go again. And uh, what do you call? Your guess is as good as mine, honestly. They hit a level three now. And there is Sniffer Dragon. Linking all monsters away into Saryuja. I'm pretty sure you could just found game with the Amblo Whale or something maybe. But we do love this little draw uh, five combo here. Nocto gets a card and then four off Saryuja. Putting back here, specials out the Gateway Dragon. Gateway Dragon effect, special summons Hibernation Dragon. Hibernation Dragon recycling Sniffer Dragon. And from here we can go Pisty and keep pushing. Do we have 8,000 though? Because uh, I think we might have a good clap back if we live. But the problem is, you know, haha, will we live? Clueless. 
Uh, Spiral Dragon is brought back to the field here. Spiral Dragon manipulating the levels. We're going to go into Drag Lubion. Drag Lubion is going to be boosted from Saryuja. That's absolutely massive. This is 8,000 exactly lethal on the board. And Dragon Link wins LCS 17. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? How many fucking times do we have to ban your cards? We have hit infinite dragon cards, individual non-archetype dragon cards, not to mention every archetype that is dragon in the game has been hit. This doesn't even have an archetype. This is just cards. This is just dragon cards. Well, back to the drawing board, and we'll figure out what we're going to have to hit for next week and next episode.